What's up YouTube, Jeff back again from dopetechdaily.com. Today I'm bringing you guys a quick tutorial on how to enable the fingerprint scanner for your Sony Xperia XZ. Now you probably know if you have this phone, you bought it the US version, the fingerprint scanner is not enabled by default out of the box due to some licensing copyright issues. I'm gonna show you how to go ahead and enable this. Now this is not my method. This was actually discovered and compiled by some guys over at XDA. I've got their thread up right here. I'm gonna link it below just so you guys can see the steps as I read them off and go through here. Now what you're gonna to need to do is download a few pieces of uh, software before you get started. You need Xperia Firm and Flash Tool. I'm gonna to show you the long way to do this, which is following all the steps in the method. There is a shorter method if you're on Windows. I couldn't get this to work for my Mac, so you might have similar experience if you're on a Mac. I'm using my MacBook Pro. If you're on Windows, it says here, actually in his method, you can go ahead and just download Flash Tool. And then in Flash Tool, which you download on Windows, there's a little Xperia Firm button right here that will let you click it and download the firmware. Mine keeps saying, please wait until the end of the process, and it never does anything. I tried it since last night. I've had no luck with that. On Windows, apparently everyone's been able to get it to work. I'm gonna show you the longer way to download Xperia Firm separately on your Mac. And if you already have the Windows version, you can get this little button here and download the software we need in order to make a flashable file, which will be the UK version of the Xperia XC firmware. I'll show you guys how to get that. If you already have this button, you can download it directly from in Flash Tool, and then you can skip to the end of the video where we go ahead and flash it in step six. Now, if you're on the Mac, or if you wanna take the long way, you're gonna to need to download Xperia Firm, and, and the Mac, something comes along with that. So you need to download the Xperia Firm software, which is here, and you'll also need to download this program called Mono. So let me go ahead and switch over here so you guys can see a little bit better. You're gonna to need to download Mono for OS X. And what Mono does is it allows you to run certain Windows uh, programs, executable files, on your Mac. So you're gonna download that and install it. And then once you have the Xperia Firm EXE file, so you also download Xperia Firm, the Windows version, you'll go ahead and unzip that. You see here, I've got it in my downloads. You'll head to your terminal application, which I've already done this, so I won't do it again. You can see here though, in your terminal, you'll go ahead and type Mono Xperia Firm EXE. So once you do that, it'll go ahead and execute and you'll be able to pull up the Xperia Firm program. Now again, that's only on Mac. There's some other steps that are a lot easier here for Microsoft Windows. All you have to do is install it or go back and some, some versions of Windows it's actually already installed for you and you'll be all set. You won't have to worry about that. All right, so once you have Xperia Firm installed, whether you're on Mac or if you're using the Xperia Firm on the Windows, if you just wanna go around the long way, you'll see this screen here. This is what Xperia Firm looks like. It's got the various devices, all the Sony devices here on the side. At the very top is the device we want, the Xperia XZ, and it's F8331. And what we wanna do is grab the UK, customized UK, United Kingdom firmware, which you can see I've already highlighted. You're gonna double click on that, and that's gonna allow you to download it. Now I've already downloaded it. All right guys, so once we have our firmware for the Xperia XZ downloaded, customized UK from Xperia Firm, the next thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is actually go in and delete the fwinfo file from the folder. So you see here we've got our customized UK firmware folder in my downloads. You wanna go through and make sure that fwinfo.xml is deleted. I actually already deleted that from in here earlier, but you have to make sure you're gonna do that if you're gonna do this the long way. If you're gonna do it the short way, where you just go through Flash Tool and get the Xperia Firm, that actually lets Flash Tool read it and make the FTF file. So we're gonna make sure that's deleted, which it is. The next step is we're gonna make sure that we go in to Flash Tool. Now we're gonna open up Flash Tool, which we've downloaded previously, and we're gonna create the actual bundle that we need to Flash. We're gonna to go to Create. We're gonna select Source Folder. Find our folder here that we have from before, Customize UK Firmware. Select that. And then over here, we're gonna put in the device name, double click on that, scroll down the list and find the Xperia XZ. We'll click on our device, F8331, double click on that, fills it in, we'll put in the branding, customized UK. We'll put in the version, the version is all of these numbers, dots, etc. here. We're gonna copy that whole thing, put in the version, paste that. Then we're gonna go through ahead and select all of these files. So you can hold down command and then just select all of those there. And then we'll hit the arrow to drag those over to the firmware content. We're gonna go ahead and click create here and it's gonna create the bundle for us. 
It does take a minute to create the bundle, so don't worry too much about that. It's gonna take a few moments. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that finish creating, and then I'll go ahead and come back and we'll finish up the process. All right, guys, so we went ahead and finished up the bundle creation. It takes about five to six minutes, so don't worry too much if you take a few moments to get the bundle created. It should say bundle creation finished at the end once you do that. Now the last step, once we get the bundle creation finished, now we wanna go ahead and flash. Now we're gonna take our Sony Xperia XZ that I have right here. I'm gonna hold down the volume button while I plug this into my Mac. You'll plug it into your PC, whatever you're using. Hold down the volume, continue holding it while you plug it in. And then when you do that, you should get a prompt on the screen here that says it's available for flash mode. It's device connected in flash mode. And so you can go ahead and let go of the volume down, which I've done. And now we're gonna go ahead and flash our device. So if we go up here to the top, to the little lightning bolt icon there, we're gonna click flash mode, okay. It says we're in pro mode, don't wanna do sim unlock. We're not gonna do any of that anyway, so just click okay. Go to Sony Xperia XZ, the device F8331. I'm gonna choose customize UK2 because this one, I messed up my first one earlier, so I had to rename it just to make it easier. And then we're actually gonna click flash, which is right here at the bottom. Let me go ahead so you guys can see that nicely in the video. Go ahead and click flash. Now this is also gonna take a while, so it's gonna prepare the files, go through, it's gonna take a minute. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it do its thing, then I'll come back, show you the final prompt, and then show you our working fingerprint scan. All right, YouTube, we went ahead and let Android optimize. I forgot how long it takes on Marshmallow. It takes absolutely forever. Just wanna show you guys, the proof is in the pudding. We now have a fingerprint enabled US Xperia XZ. Let's go ahead and make sure we can set up the fingerprint. Go into lock screen and security here. We should now have the option to go into fingerprints. So you can see here, fingerprint manager. And now it says unlock with fingerprint. Go ahead and click continue. Go ahead and confirm my pattern that I have. It says before starting, hold your device as usual. Go to next. And I'll go ahead and put my fingerprint right there on the power button. And as you can see, it is indeed capturing my fingerprint, my thumbprint here, which is the one that I mainly recommend that you use. And so I'm gonna add another one later. Let's just go ahead and make sure it works on the lock screen. Go ahead and turn it off and go ahead and open it opens flawlessly with my fingerprint. Very, very smooth. Faster than the old Sony phones that I had the fingerprint scanner on uh, last year. Very, very impressed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. That's how to get your Sony Xperia XZ, the US version, working with the fingerprint scanner by flashing the UK firmware. I'll link all the XDA sites below, the threads and also the files that you need. You can find them all there. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments below. Be happy to help you out, guys, uh, if you wanna get this going. Find me at dopetechdaily.com, Google+, Instagram, and Twitter. The link's in the description. Appreciate you guys liking and subscribing if you enjoy my content so I can make future videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one.